Thank you for taking the time to watch these videos. SolarX Pharmacy Review Program has created these videos to help candidates prepare for the qualifying exam part two. You are now going to watch a scenario followed by a quick review with the pharmacist. Hi, my name is Julia. I'm the pharmacist on duty. How can I help you? I wanted to know if Advil was the best thing for my son's fever. Of course, and I'll help you answer that question. Just before I do, I'd like to ask you a few more questions about your son's medical history, just to make sure I can make the best recommendation. Not a problem. Okay. Um, just so you know, this is a private counseling area, so everything we discuss will be private and confidential. That's greatly appreciated. And so what did you say your son's name was? John. John. And how old is John? He's five years old. So can you tell me a little bit more about the fever? When John woke up this morning, he was really warm. I tested his temperature with a thermometer, an oral one. It read 39 degrees. That is quite warm. Um, has he had any other symptoms that can explain his fever? He's and tugged on his ear a lot within the last day. Okay, so you think it might be a little bit of ear pain? I suspect he's got a sore ear. Okay, any other symptoms? Any cough, any runny nose, anything like that? No, there haven't been anything else. Has um, John been traveling anywhere recently? No, we haven't gone on any travels. Okay, and does he have any other symptoms? Has he been uh, coughing or wheezing with this fever? No cough or wheeze, no. Has he had any dental procedures in the last little while? No, it's been a while since he's last been to the dentist. And have you taken him to the doctor yet? Not yet, no. Not yet. Okay, so I'll um, make a recommendation very shortly, but before I do, I'd like to ask you a bit about his history. Um, does he take any other medications? He's on two puffers. Two puffers? Do you know which one? Um, the orange one and the blue one. Okay, um, so that's most likely the Flovent and the Ventolin. Um, does he have asthma or was it for a different indication? He has mild asthma. He has mild asthma. And is that asthma well controlled? It seems so. Okay, that's great to know. And um, does uh, he take any other medications, anything without a prescription or any herbal product? Oh, no. No. And does John have any allergies? He's allergic to sulfa. To sulfa. And can you tell me what happened the last time he took some sulfa drugs? He developed hives all over his body and he experienced difficulty breathing. Okay, so it sounds like a pretty severe reaction to the sulfa. So I'll make sure we have that in our system recorded to uh, check for future uh, medications that he gets a prescription for. Um, okay, so you said the asthma was well controlled otherwise. That's great. Okay, and just a few questions about sometimes lifestyle can also affect um, medical conditions. Is he a very active boy? Does he play around a lot? Yeah, he's active. He's active. And is he in school? Yes, he goes to school. School? Okay. Sounds good. If you don't mind, I'm just going to check my reference for a minute and I'll get back to you very shortly. Okay, thank you for waiting. Um, so just in this case, because John's had a fever and he's tugging on his ear, I think it'd be a really good decision to take him to see his doctor uh, because I suspect there may be infection for which he may require antibiotics. Okay. Um, in the meantime, I definitely can recommend something for the fever. However, given that John has asthma, sometimes medications like Advil are not the best choice because they um, can make his asthma a little bit more sensitive, so he may have a bit more difficulty breathing. So it doesn't happen in every child, but I think it might be safer to try a different product. So I can recommend taking something like Tylenol and the chemical ingredient in that is acetaminophen. But Tylenol ca contains a, a medical ingredient called acetaminophen and within the suspension here it has 160 milligrams for each 5 ml. Um, based on different weights we give different volumes to each child. Do you know how much John weighs? 20 kilograms. 20 kilograms, okay. So based on his weight, we would actually recommend giving 7.5 milliliters every four to six hours as needed. Um, does that sound okay? That sounds good. I okay. And um, with Tylenol, it's usually very well tolerated. We generally don't see any side effects. 
Uh, very rarely it can cause an upset stomach, in which case you can give some food beforehand and then give the Tylenol afterwards. Okay. Does oh. it need to be shaken or stored in the fridge? Um, so usually because it's a suspension, we have to shake it really well and then you measure the seven and a half milliliters and it's stored at room temperature. Um, so in terms of the flavors, I mentioned there's cherry and grape. Would he prefer either Cherry, one? I think. Cherry, sounds good. And then also in terms of the management of the fever, some kids do better when you give them a tepid uh, cloth to put it on their forehead. And drinking lots of fluids um, can also be another thing you can do to help with the fever management, just in the meantime until you go to the doctor. Thank you. And if you don't mind, I'd like to call you maybe tomorrow just to see if the doctor has made any recommendations or if you come by earlier with a prescription for an antibiotic, we can discuss that at that time as well. Okay, that'd be great. Thank you okay. for your help.